Let's go see what my boys are doing out here. You weren't even outside? You was the only one outside? Oh, there's Max. <laughs> I thought everyone was out here. Yeah. Miggy was, uh, got up a seven and I let him out, fed him, got a drink of water. I put him back. Where are you? Come here. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, and put them back in their crates because I was going to lay back down for a little bit because they had a busy weekend. <coughs> yes, I'm, ta I'm talking about you. Oh, <coughs> anyways, I was going to put them back in their crate and Mickey kept whining and whining and hitting his crate and I thought, well, maybe he didn't finish doing his business out here. I don't know. So I got up, let just him out. And he'd just come out. Look, look at me. Look at his ball. He just wanted to come outside and play. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a cow nail. I hope. That's a cow nail. Oh, gosh. I'm always scared I'm going to find something dead in the yard. <laughs> Anyways. He just wanted to come out and play. So, got up. Let him out. It's still kind of wet on the grass. Put the gate up so they couldn't come in with wet feet and just left him out here and lay down. <laughs> I thought... For sure, I started getting worried because I thought something was wrong with him because he never does that. He never does that. He'll just go back in his crate and go back to sleep until I'm ready to go to bed. I thought, my God, is something wrong? Is he having issues? What is going on? No, nope, he just wanted to come outside. You were like, it's a nice day, Mom. Get your lazy butt out of bed, right? Is that what it was? Is that what it was, Miggy? Huh? <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, anyways... I wanted to shoot some, or shoot, I wanted to show you guys a product called Stop That. Um, I um, recorded some video of using it to get Mozzie here to stop barking constantly at the squirrels and the chipmunks out my front window. So let me go get that product and show it to you real quick. Okay. Here's the product. Comes in a oh, an orange can, and I used it to stop Mozzie from barking so much in the front window. I also moved, if you saw in one of my other videos, that I moved the cat stand out of the uh, front window to keep him from sitting there constantly, uh, watching for them, which he still does. But he just kind of looks out the window. Um, Shush. Can I speak? <laughs> Can I speak for once? Please. Um, and I've used this before. Um, they always want to sniff it. <laughs> I used this before when we'd go uh, to train Miggy um, on our walks. He would bark at everyone and every dog and everything. And it helped to stop him from barking at everything. So, I thought I'm going to get it again uh, to get Mozzie to stop barking at every squirrel and everything that walks by in the front window. So, anyway. So, here's some video of where I purchased this. What was that about? Anyway. Where I purchased this and how it worked for Mozzie. And yes, okay, you can talk now. <laughs> All right, here's the video. Ozzy, you can look at the chipmunk, but you cannot bark.
been about 20 minutes since I sprayed the spray. And he's just still watching. Now other dogs came in here, so they might. Are you still watching the little baby squirrel? But he's been quiet. The other dogs haven't been out here. Unless he's been quiet, and he usually barks constantly at that little chipmunk. So he's being quiet so far. Okay guys, it's the next day. The little uh, chipmunk's out there. He didn't bark, but I have to do it right when he starts making any kind of noise. You have to do it right when the behavior starts. I didn't do it as loud this time either. Mozzie? No barking. No barking. Okay guys, so as you saw in that last clip, um, since I've been using this spray um, for about three weeks I would say now, um, Mozzie just kind of stands in the window and watches the little squirrels and the birds and doesn't bark much anymore. Um, he'll every now and then um, bark, but I just uh, remind him and just kind of grab the can and I grab it and he stops. I keep it right out in that front room. Um, and it was kind of hard to videotape um, using this spray because um, you have to spray it right when the bad behavior starts. So it's hard to grab my phone to videotape and grab the spray. <laughs> it was kind of hard to do that at the same time so I didn't get much video. Um, but I hope it kind of showed um, how to use it and how they react to it. And um, let's see what's going on over here. Oh, they found a popsicle stick. I don't know where this came from. Well, look, guys. Look what I found. Bush beans. This came out of here. So someone was sticking their nose in here. I found a leaf off of this the other day. Are you guys trying to eat my bean plants? Huh? Why was that out of there? Was it you? Oh, these dogs. Anyways, now I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, I can't even remember what I was saying now. <laughs> Anyways. Hopefully this video helps show you how this works. And I'm going to put a link um, in the description box below to a video that I watched on this spray. And that will help you um, know how it works a little bit more. So, Mozzie's not barking as much anymore. And like I said, I used it with Miggy when we'd go on walks because he would bark at everyone. He doesn't bark at everyone anymore. And there you go. Hopefully this was a informative video for you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. You guys aren't going to believe what I just found over here. I was cleaning up landmines. Poop. Um, and look what I found. I don't want that right now. I thought it was poop. It's a little dead true that the boys got and left. A little gift for me to have to clean up. Oh, I saved his life the other day. For him or his friend, I don't know. How am I going to clean that up? Why? Why? <laughs> yes, no, I got to clean that up. Yes, you did it, did you? Oh, did you do it, Marley?
Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, you did it, didn't you? I saved them from you the other day. Now I gotta clean it. <laughs>